Hi and welcome to the channel, I'm Mal and today's video is about witches balls. Now I've already attempted to do this video about four times. The one I did complete was way too long so I'm going to just insert clips from that one and talk you through it this way. Also, it was played by orbs, so I will insert clips now. I've just started and I've got more orbs flying around me, so I apologise if it distracts you in any way. So hopefully you've seen the orbs now. So witches' balls, what are they? Well, they were around in the 17th and 18th century. They were made from coloured glass. They were orbs or spheres or balls of hollow glass with a hole in them. It is said that some would have had some strings of glass within the ball, within the hollow of the ball, a bit like a spider's web. And they were there to protect from evil spirits and witches. So they were hung in windows, on barn doors or the entrances and on trees around the property and it is said that a witch could not ref refuse to look at her reflection goodness me that was a lot of proof there so as as a person or a witch walked past the ball they would look into the glass into their reflection and then they would their soul would go into the ball hey ho well that was the 17th 18th century for you now on to modern times. The ball, and I'll show you the one that I made for the video. This is it. Is made from glass or this is actually plastic. As you can see, it was a Christmas ornament. When this video should have gone out was over Christmas. And when I was looking for the items to do it, to do this video, all the glass baubles had gone because they were obviously Christmas ornaments. So that was £1.50 from Poundland. I took out the inside, washed it, cleansed it and used that. What's in there is I had moss. As you can see, it's quite a big ball. So it's sort of my palm width. So it's quite a lot to fill. So I had moss from my garden I put some moss in there you go I love that I love the moss because it still says a vibrant green so it's lovely to look at that went in and then nettle so I'll insert a clip now of me putting my intention into it if you want to know what the intention was it was protect this home and all that are welcome who enter it. So nettle, slowberries, hawthorn, rosemary. And so that's ground up rosemary or smaller pieces. And this is rosemary from my garden that's just the spikes. sage again sage leaf dried from my garden i do apologize i can just see orbs flying everywhere <laughs> blackberry leaf and in it then went some thorns whoa I'll try and get them out for you i don't know whether i'm going to be able to show you you can use rusty nails if you prefer that I had some rose bushes, so I chopped off the thorns as they were, as I was cutting them back and dried those. You can also use mirror tiles. Now, I couldn't find these either when I was looking, searching for the items, and I came across these in my craft stash. So these are sort of buttons, and I glued them together to make. Well, that's a cylindrical mirror, but the other ones are slightly different within the ball. If you are 
a subscriber to Freya's Cauldron Subbox, you will have blended herbs. So this month, April's box, we had Vine Rune. That is brilliant to put into this protection ball. I found, when I was looking for my herbs, the protection poppet kit herbs. I've used some of those for my poppet. I've also popped some into the ball and I shall carry on using those for poppets and balls in future. I also found a new beginnings one blend. So as it's coming up to the new moon, I'm going to use that. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it into a poppy or a ball yet. That's another use as well for your herbs that you do get in your sub box if you're wondering what to do with them. There's always different things, pouches, balls. It, the list is endless really if you just need to, to think outside the box. I also used the witch's salt that came, protection salt that came in April's sub box as well. Let's talk you through it. So you will have seen that I held and put intention into each one that I, um, each herb that I put in. There's one of those mirror um, things that I were talking about. On the front, you can see I've done the bind rune that came in the bind rune kit in April's box. On that piece of paper, you can do a bind rune, a sigil, or just words. And I just done words which were the same as the intention, protect this home and all that are welcome who enter it. So that has gone in. As you can see, the different um, size of things, so those leaves, sage leaves and the rosemary long stems, they just add some character to the bottle. I then lit a candle and held it over. I'll insert that video now and sealed. As I was doing that, I was saying the intention for the ball which again, I'm going to keep it the same, protect this home and all who are welcome that enter it. And you can then, once all your wax is dry, do the same, and then hang it in your window. I know where this one's going. It is going on a curtain pole on the front window of my daughter's house. So hence why the wording is very specific. So that is the protection ball. These balls can be for any intention that you want. They don't have to be for protection. You could have new beginnings, love interests, finance, whatever it is your intention. If you can find the, the herbs that match that intention, the candle colour that matches the intention, then you're good to go. I hope this helped. I'm sorry it was a bit disjointed simply because as I say, it was just an absolute nightmare trying to do this video this morning. If you did like it and it has inspired you to have a go at a witch's ball, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. It is free to do so. And leave a comment below and let me know what you think of witches' balls, if you've ever done them or if you're going to try them. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!